All right. So, uh, thanks for sending in um, all these awesome questions, everybody. Uh, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm answering them in my in my audition place, my self tape place, because my light's already up. Uh, <laughs> that's what the that's what the background is. All right. So the first question uh, is, what made me be interested in Zach uh, in the character of Zach in the calling? Um, and, uh, yeah, so, so what I like about Zach is, is that he's like, he's, he's a complicated character. Um, I, I, I enjoy playing characters that kind of exist in, in that kind of gray area. Um, I, I think that it's just a lot more fun and, and real feeling. Um, and he's definitely kind of, definitely feels real, right? He, he makes a bunch of just profoundly bad decisions. Um, um, but isn't necessarily like a bad person himself. Uh, and yeah, I thought there was something really, um, there was something very grounded about the writing and, and, and how he kind of moves through the world that I, that I thought was interesting to kind of slip into. All right, so the next question is, do I have a process uh, when approaching parts? And the answer is yes, but it's really not. It's not like a strict process. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if I would call it a process, I guess. It's it's really just that I read a lot. I read the, the, the script and I read the scenes a lot. Um, you know, I, I try and absorb it as much as I possibly can. I read it on the treadmill or, you know, with coffee in the morning and, and um, you know, at lunch or whenever I can, just try and get it more and more ingrained into my body and in my mind so that by the time I get to set um, and it's time to film it, uh, I don't have to think about the dialogue at all and I can focus on being present, uh, and just being in the scene, uh, with the other actor, the other actors. Um, the other part of this is, is that I'm really lucky that my wife is also an actor because, because, uh, uh, yeah, I, I just run everything with her. I run everything with Layla and, um, you know, we're each other's coaches. So that, that's also like a big part of my process is just being able to run it with another really good actor so that we can kind of bounce ideas back and forth and, and, and make the scenes as, as good as they could possibly be. Is it hard to move on from uh, characters that you've played for a while, like Mickey? Um, yeah, it can be. It's, you know, I'll, I'll, so once in a while I'll, I'll be doing, you know, an audition and I'll, and I'll kind of hear some Mickeyisms sort of slip in. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're in, a, in a character skin for a long time, it'll, it'll take a little bit to kind of unwind that. Um, but that's another reason that I really loved uh, Zach and, and the opportunity to do the calling because he's just so different. He's so vastly different from from Mickey in pretty much every every way that I can think of. Um, he has no swagger. Uh, he has no bravado. Um, yeah, it's, he's he's much much more kind of uh, in inside himself and kind of hiding um, in a way that's very different from say how Mickey was hiding. Um, but yeah, yeah, he's just you know uh, he's the kind of person that I don't I don't think Mickey would really would really care much for. Wouldn't wouldn't want to have a drink with him probably. Okay, what's been my uh, kind of most memorable or favorite character that I played? Uh, I think that's, that, that's got to be Mickey. Um, yeah, again, he's he's just like a deeply flawed character um, that is just really was really uh, um, magnetic to me because he he you know just never stopped <clears throat> kind of being brave enough to sort of evolve and and better himself and 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 kind of. In, in whatever way that meant to him and the people around him at the time. But I think that that, that was that kind of consistent dedication and struggle to improve and grow. Um, I think that that's, that, that's, you know, maybe one of the best qualities you can have as a person. And um, Mickey definitely kind of had that in spades. Okay. Um, who out of all the characters that I have played would I want to sit down and play video games with? I think there's only one real answer to this question. Uh, and it's got to be Michelangelo. Like, I mean, who else? I mean, one, he, he seems like he would just be, like, great to hang out and, like, game with. Two, you know he's going to have good snacks. The food's going to be good. Uh, and, you know, three, I, I would have also, like, discovered that there are, are, you know, oversized talking turtles. So I feel like that would be a, a pretty cool discovery to be a part of. All right, next question is, would I ever consider doing a podcast? Uh, something like a, like 
you know, rewatching Shameless uh, in in character in as Mickey. Um, I have not. Uh, I have not. That would probably run into some 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 copyright issues. Uh, but uh, but I am working on something uh, that is I'm very excited about, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to tell you all about soon.